name is Mel Rose and I'm part of the team that coordinated the Energy Shifts Policy Fellowships in the spring of 2020. I am a research fellow at the Global Sustainability Institute at Anglia Ruskin University in Cambridge in the UK. This video is about how you can ensure that citizen engagement is at the heart of your energy project. Citizen engagement has become a key aspect of European energy policy. For example, the European Green Deal states that citizens should be directly involved in the design of policy directions. And we know that citizen engagement will continue to feature in upcoming Horizon Europe funding calls. The Energy Shifts Live Energy Policy Challenges report compiled key policy challenges facing energy policy workers across Europe. And we identified citizen engagement as a key theme. The report discusses a range of questions, including the role of local authorities in engaging citizens and including citizen dialogue in implementing regulatory frameworks. But why is citizen engagement and why is it important? Citizen engagement could be defined in many ways, which can sometimes make it tricky to know where to start with it. It can be used as a synonym for communication, but in reality, it includes communication and goes beyond it. Engaging citizens means giving them a role in the conception, implementation and evaluation of a project in a way that is inclusive. It is important because engaging citizens in policy and project design will likely increase policy and project relevance and therefore also impact. However, with many different approaches to citizen engagement, it can be challenging to know how to create and implement a process that is inclusive and meaningful to all involved. So I'd like to share three of the reflections to help you get started with citizen engagement. They concern timing, acting and picturing citizens. In terms of timing, engage citizens early on in the process of designing a policy or a project. This will give them an opportunity to share their needs and wants and to help you identify what they see as the problem being. They can then also contribute ideas to tackling problems and to implementing solutions. However, listening on its own is not enough. Think ahead and communicate how you will be acting on this listening exercise and how you will take concerns and ideas forward. This will help to build trust between the different parties, but be aware that it requires time and resources. And finally, build a picture of the citizen you're engaging. Remember that communities are diverse and with a range of interests. Some people may be hard to reach, um, so it's worth planning on using a range of tools to ensure these people can take part in your engagement process fairly. Finally, beware of positioning citizens as in opposition to energy projects. Rather, try and leave the door open for responses that are likely to be varied, including support or even indifference. These are just some ideas to introduce you to citizen engagement. To go further, you could take a look at our report on shifting perspectives insights from the energy policy fellowships it has a dedicated section uh, on citizen engagement and draws on the experience of seven policy workers in our policy fellowship program we discuss the different ways that citizen engagement can be defined and share the practical experiences and social science and humanities solutions that the policy workers discussed with social science and humanities researchers and for more energy shifts resources visit our website.